This is Luke 6 and 21. Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you and cast, cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, Akim, pushing his word with true sincerity, with charity, presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice. We who are ready to live salute you. So I want to go into this lesson, you know. And most of my lessons are going to be, uh, uh, well, not most of them, but some of my lessons are going to be, you know, a little bit of spiritual rant. So, you know, just bear with me, you know. But, uh, yeah, man, you know, and I'm going to call this lesson, We Are About to Eat, okay? We are about to eat, all right? We are going to be um, lacking in nothing very soon, man. You know, and not even, uh, it, it, it's like, and, and in truth, you know, in truth, there's is absolutely no English human words that we could use to describe what we're going to get. As the scripture says, I have not seen nor ear have heard what Yahweh Bashmi Asha have for them that, uh, that love them, love him, right? And, uh, and, you know, when, when we wait and wait on him, you know, roughly paraphrasing. All right. All right. Let me get another scripture. Right, right. This is, um, right. This is Isaiah 25. Uh, I'm going to start at eight. He will swallow up death and victory. And Yahweh power will wipe away tears from the faces, from all faces, and the rebuke of his people shall he take away from all the earth, for Yahweh have spoken it. And it shall be said in that day, lo, this is our power, right? He's going to wipe away all tears from our eyes, man. That's the eyes of the Israelites, man. The rest of the, uh, uh, these heathens, man, they're going to serve a thousand years of slavery, right? And it shall be said in that day, lo, this is our power. We have waited for him and he will save us. Right. See, yeah, we're, we're waiting patiently, man. You know, all right. We're waiting patiently, man. You know, and we're going to, uh, we're not going to be waiting in vain. You know, we're going to, scripture says, a hope deferred, make it the heart sick. We're going to see the joy as, and, 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 and what did the Lord say when he said he returned, he said, your joy, no man taketh from you, man. So nobody's going to be able to join this party. Nobody's going to be able to infiltrate it. This is for us, man. All right. This world that as we know it today is, 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 is passing away and it's not going to be seen nor spoke of in the times to come. This place is a fucking fart in the wind. All right. And he will save us. This is our power. We have waited for him. We will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. All right. You know, so, hey, man, elect, we're, we're, we're getting ready to be, uh, to be saved out, out of this place, man. All right. You know. For in mount, for in this mountain shall the hand of Yahweh rest. Right, that's why scripture says, "Why leap ye ye high hills?" This is the hill that Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai desires to dwell in. Yea, he shall dwell in it forever, forever. All right, and Moab shall be trodden down under him, even as straw is trodden down for the dung hill. And, and all our heathens, man. The scripture says the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathens, man. See, a part of what we get and what we got coming is revenge on all these nations, man. All right. Okay. 
You know, we're going to get our hands on all these nations, man. That's a, that's a part of what we get, man. Isaiah 60 and 8, man. Listen, man, I'm sitting here thinking about the kingdom, man. Bro, I'm sitting here thinking about the kingdom, man. I, you know, where we at right now is just, you know, you, you know, you might have a little apartment, you might have a house. Really, you just got a fucking jail cell, okay? And you got it, and you're, and you're paying, you're paying for that jail cell, man. All right, <laughs> you paying for your prison cell, man. All right, but let me keep reading this. Well, let me get into this. This is Isaiah sixty-eight. Who are these that fly as clouds? Right, and let me just say this because. You know, the scriptures talk about the, um, in Second Ezra, it talks about the gateway into the kingdom, man. How it's fire on one side, it's a, a water on the other, and it's in a, a narrow way to go so, so small that only one could go at a time. And what is that to enter into that broad place, man? The Lord said he's going to set us in a wide field, field, roughly paraphrasing, man. Right now, we're being constrained more and more. Right. More and more things are being taken away from us, you know, by this society. You know, we're, we're coming to the time where Esau is about to come down with great wrath and he's going to try to take away our very lives. All right. You know. OK. But uh, let me go into this, this is Isaiah 60 and eight. Who are these that fly as a cloud and as the doves to their windows? Surely the isles shall wait for me and the ships of Tarshish first to bring thy sons from far, their silver and their gold with them, and the name of Yahweh thy power, and to the Holy One of Israel, because he hath glorified thee. Right? Because he hath glorified thee, man. You know, <laughs> so yeah, man, we're gonna we're gonna take all the goods, all the goodies, all right, and 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 things that we can't even imagine, man. Like I was sitting there watching these um, Esau out of space. I call them space Roman movies because this nigga's a fucking Roman, and he thinks you're gonna carry that shit into outer space to other worlds, man. <laughs> and really, like these space movies are really comedies now that you're in the truth, man. It, it, they're, they're like funny, you know. You like, you know, when you were in the world, you was all into those space. I know well if, if that's your thing, you know. For me, it was, you know, sci-fi movies, going into outer space, you know, uh, 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 seeing different worlds. You know, I'm I'm a art. Well, I was. Well, I still am an artist, but I don't I don't really get into it as much anymore. But, uh, you know, just seeing beautiful worlds, you know, you know, you, you know, you see movies like um, Avatar, you know, all these alien movies, you know, they show these different worlds, Star Wars, you know, showing you that if he went to outer space, there'd be fucking war in outer space. <laughs> OK. You know, and all that uh, like like uh, to quote Bruce Lee, all that all that heavenly glory. All right. You know, the scriptures talk about how the Lord stresses the heavens out like a curtains, man. Okay, like um, like a tent or something like that, a place to dwell in. You know, all right. And in my father's house, you know, Yahweh Shai said that there are many mansions. You know, I go to prepare a place for you. You know, and, and the Yahweh Bashmi Shai is constantly creating, and that's why when you, uh, that's why you know Esau Edom, you know, the little that that the Lord lets him see through his scopes and, you know, satellites or whatever the hell he's using, you know, to see into uh, what you would call space, the heavens, all right, which would be the uh, second heaven, actually, okay? It keeps, ex uh, it keeps expanding, all right? It, it keeps expanding. And why? Because Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is constantly creating, you know, as scripture says, as I live, you know, Yahweh Shai said, I come that uh, the thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and destroy. I come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly, right? So 
hey, uh, I'm thinking about that Drake song, More Life. <laughs> More Life. <laughs> so y'all about to be on shot steady porn. <laughs> <laughs> life sauce on the creation burger <laughs> you know you know he's he's pouring life sauce excuse my humor you know for for those brothers that don't like listening to humor as brothers I'm, it's kind of my spirit but um he keeps pouring life sauce on the um creation burger <laughs> and it's just like more sauce more sauce more sauce He's like never enough sauce. So yeah, man, you know, I'm sitting here, you know, thinking about all the stuff that Esau tries to do and he can't have. We're going to get that. We're going to get that. All, 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 if we keep diligently and all for a little bit of suffering, man, a little bit of suffering because the truth be told, and, and, and I don't know um, how often this is, um, pushed but i'm gonna push it now the truth of the matter is these people in this world from the from from the two-thirds to the heathen on down they're suffering more than we are i'm gonna say that again the people in this world right now are suffering way more than we are all right because it was, as the scripture says uh, uh, in Wisdom of Solomon, it says, uh, fear is nothing but the betraying of the succors that reason offereth, man. These people can't reason what's going on in this world, so therefore their mind is plagued, man. They got a saying in the world, kill the head and, your bo and the body will die. Okay? So Yahweh Bashmi Asha is plaguing the mind first. All right, then he's going to hit him in the stomach and then everywhere else, you know, <laughs> you know, scripture says knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times, the strength and sal of salvation. The fear of Yahweh Bashmi Ashai is his treasure. You can't, uh, I'm thinking about that, uh, that rap group for Chicago, do or die, motherfucker, can you buy that? All right, motherfucker, can you buy that? Yo, yo, and and you can't you can't buy peace of mind. All right, you can't buy anything to take your mind off your impending end, because what's happening right now is Yahweh Bashmi Asha is taking hold of the wheel. You can't press the brakes. You can't pull the lever. You can't do anything. You're going at a certain speed that Yahweh Bashmi Asha has designated and diagnosed to your ass and you see that brick wall coming and you're a proud ass fucking devil so what do you do you put on shades and light up a fucking marlboro take a swig of your little ass uh, a bottle of fucking jameson all right but uh yeah moving on man it's so lucky that was a bit of a rant isaiah 60 and 10 and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I have smote thee, but in my favor I have had mercy on thee. Right? So the Lord is going to show his mercy, man. Hey, hey, we're going to see it sooner than motherfuckers believe, man. Scripture, scripture says, as, as the name of this lesson is, hey, we about to eat. Akim, we about to eat. As Christian says, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. So we're going to be getting, we're going to be getting the son's treatment, a soldier's treatment. You know, hey, listen, man. And, and Esau's army, he, he'll let you starve in his army, man. All right. And, and, and Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai's army, man, you may not get a five star meal. All right, because you're a soldier. You really only need a protein bar and some water, man. All right? <laughs> That's really what you just need. You just need what you need to get to the next, uh, trying to get the next plateau. <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking about these uh, Chicago rappers, man, right now. But uh, <laughs> trying to get to the next glory, man. Trying to get to the next plateau, like do or die would say, man. You know? 
uh, till we till we reach, as it says in the book of Job, it says, um, he shall deliver the island of the innocent and it is delivered by the pureness of his hands, man. All right. And sorry that I can't pull up these uh, scriptures that I'm quoting. You know, I'm trying to go through this one, you know, but you can, you know, look up these scriptures as they're quoted, you know. Before we had the smartphone and all that, hey, brothers had concordances and shit. All right, man. <laughs> Jake had to really dig, you know, so you're not too much at a disadvantage. But this is Isaiah 60 uh, and 10. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their king shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I have smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Right. So, yeah. And that mercy is going to be shown, man. You know, it's going to be shown. It's being shown now. It's being shown now. Like, hey, look, man, we Jake, Jake, Jake be going through it. You know, Jake be lacking sometimes. But yeah, how about me on shot? Give you a roof over your head and give you your daily bread, man. You know, he met you might have some dry weeks, you know, what you know, when no box don't. Don't show up on the radar for brothers. If you know, you know what I'm talking about. You may have those days. All right. You know, you, you may not. <laughs> when the Lord cuts out your, your love scenes, cut your love scenes out the movie. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but the show still got to go on, right? You know, <laughs> this, this place is not about, hey, the scripture says, no man that war entangles himself with the affairs of his life that he may um, count him worthy, roughly paraphrasing, uh, who we have chosen to be a soldier. You know, I probably butchered that scripture, but, you know, you brothers could uh, unbutch it by reading it, right? Therefore, thy gates shall be open, it, open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, right? Because we're not going to need a missile defense system. We're not going to need wall. We're going to have walls because they look good, okay? All right, and they're gonna be pearly. You know, you know. Where, where's a hey? If vocab, if 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 all things are fulfilled, man, and those rats that was in the sewer in um in in New York with with uh bloody mattresses, probably because for baby from babies that they raped. All right, if those are the people, man, where are those gates at, man? You know, where are those big pretty gates man where's the peace on earth man oh, oh my god anyway they shall not be shut day nor night that men shall bring unto thee the forces of the gentiles all right you know and um I don't know if this if this if this is the uh, the, the, uh, the scripture like if it goes down and it says that but but it's another scripture that talks about how our hearts are going to fear from all the things we, we see, man. But I might be getting ahead of myself. Let me keep reading. And that their kings may be brought, right? And as it says, kings shall be their nursing fathers and their queens their nursing mothers. Meaning you're going to bow unto us, man. All right? You're going to serve us, man. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. This is what Yahweh Bashem Yahshua is talking about. I don't know what, 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 what the world is talking about. I don't know what, what you people are talking about. I don't know what you people are talking about. All right. <laughs> Nothing comes out when they move their lips. All right. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. All right. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> What Bible are you niggas reading, man? You know? <laughs> hey, and, and and we've been given the gift of faith. So we're looking and we're reading this, man. This is like, bro, this is like reading a piece. This is like being, you've been a homeless bum, didn't know who you was your whole life. And then you just read a, a piece of paper, a document saying that you own everything. Man, look. <laughs> bro. <laughs> That motherfucker down there have a heart attack, you know, a motherfucker with, you know, with a worldly mind, you know, like, you know, as far as this world's riches is concerned, you know, like reading a piece of paper, look, you're the richest man on earth, you own everything, 
motherfucker, I have a heart attack. But we're gonna own own um under Yahweh Shai, because this is his kingdom, you know, and we wanna be partakers of it. <laughs> we want in. <laughs> Thinking about that movie, uh uh King of New York. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, the glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee. The fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together to the beauty, to beautify the place of my sanctuary. And those trees could be talking about people and they could be talking about um, actual trees. You know, actual trees, you know. Because you got, you know, um, very expensive wood. You know, imagine, and, and then I'm, now I'm thinking like, I'm thinking about, because, you know, um, like I said, you know, how you watch movies and these video games, it's like stepping into another world, kind of. Uh, I'm thinking about this game, God of War, uh, Ragnarok. There's a particular place called Ironwood, and um, the trees there, they look like wood, but they look like a really hard wood to like, a merger between um, wood and iron, you know. I, I I don't know what the Lord has created. Scripture says I have not seen, but I tell you like this, man. Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai has created the mind, and if Esau Edom is imagining things like this, and we're imagining things like we imagine, you can best believe Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai is going to outdo all of us. All right, he's going to outdo all of us. Anything we ever thought, he's going to outdo that by leaps and bounds okay but let me continue to read i will make the place of my feet glorious the sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet and they shall call thee the city of yahweh the zion of the holy one of any of Israel, that Zion to Zion, which means monument. All right, and and, and um, now Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai is remembering us, and we're remembering him. Okay, we're remembering the relationship. Okay, it says, "Whereas thou has been forsaken and hated." so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. See, eternity, okay? You cannot buy eternity, all right? All right, you cannot buy eternity. Uh, um, what does it says? Uh, scripture says, um, as a drop <laughs> in the ocean, uh, so is a thousand years to the days of eternity, man. All right. And we haven't even been in this captivity, this particular captivity that long. All right. You know, and no kingdom can boast that. All right. Every kingdom on that statue that Daniel saw is coming down when that rock hits it, man. Because in that rock being Yahweh Shai, because it's time for him to reign. All right. It's time for Yahweh Shah. It's time for the son of the creator to uh, um, to set up his, as it says, I shall set my son upon the um, holy hill of Zion. All right. The government that will never be disbanded. A government that will never disagree with itself. Like this fucking government. <laughs> this motherfucker is uh is is this uh, uh uh my brother from Chicago, Elderman Saint Benji would say uh, he's a snake eating itself. Okay, he's eating his, you know, <laughs> it's a two headed snake eating itself. It's just confusion, man. I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Yeah, a joy of many generations, man. <laughs> okay. Thou shalt suck the milk of gen of the Gentiles and shall suck the breast of kings. Right. Meaning we're going to have the not just the fatness of this earth, we're going to have the fatness of creation. 
the things that, listen, man, you got to really think about, you know, scriptures talk about plowing and hope, man. You know, you don't work a job. You don't do a job not expecting to get paid anything, man. All right. And y'all about, and they got a saying in the world, it says, dare to dream. The Lord, you know, he, he's let, he allows us to use our imagination, man. And at the same time, wisdom letting us know that anything we imagine, he's going to give us better. So we can sit back and think and imagine the fact that we're going to have new bodies. We're going to be like Yahweh Shai is. We're going to be like, we're going to be gods. We're going to live forever. We're going to know all things. We're going to remember and know everything. We're not going to even have questions for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We're going to just get a download in the twinkling of an eye, right? We're going to be able to walk in between. We're going to be able to walk from the physical world into the spiritual world. Who knows what that's like? We're going to be able to stand before Yahweh himself. Who knows what that's like? Who knows how to, there's, there's no way to quantify that with a human word. Okay. There's no way to quantify that with a human word. And thou shalt know that I, that I, Yahweh, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Okay? And the scripture says, Then the world shall know Israel went into captivity uh, for their sins against Yahweh. Roughly paraphrasing. All right? The whole world is going to know that that's the key. They're not going to be able to no more fucking boast. Like, yeah, I took them down. All right, with my strength, like the scripture says, by my strength have I done it. You know, you're not going to be able to make that fucking boast no more, man. You're not going to be able to tell that lie no more, man. That's all it is, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahshai ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to uh, whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the basis of men. And right now we're at the base of the statue. Seen in the um, vision of Daniel. All right. For brass, I will bring gold. And for I am iron, I will bring silver. And for wood, brass. And for stones, iron. I will also make thy officers peace and thine exactors righteousness. Okay. So, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be the new police, like hey, police officers. We're going to be the new peace officers. <laughs> All right. We're going to be the new exactors of tribute. All right. We're going to exact tribute from all heathen nations except Esau. Because Esau, Edom, you're not going to have nothing to give because you're not going to be here after a thousand years. And these other nations ain't going to have shit. Okay. Because <laughs> they're going to be in slavery. All right? They're going to be property. So how can they have property if they are property? Which they always will be property, by the way. For brass, I will bring... All right, I read that part. Let me read down it. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land. And 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 and, and the land, uh, in the holy land, which they don't even possess all of the holy land. We're going to possess the fullness of the earth, as the scripture says in 2 Ezra. The earth was created for our sake. All right. The earth was created for our sake. We're going to get creation. It's just Jerusalem is going to be the headquarters. And Israel is going to be the, mo the, the holy land, the, covet the coveted land. You know, as the scripture says, uh, Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah had a garden eastward in Eden. Right, but the whole creation is going to be I done. Hell, you will even be able to call um, these other planets I done because they're going to be uh, little sanctuaries of beauty. And you're not going to go to one of your planets and it's just a ghetto. You stepping on beer cans and shit. No, these these palaces that Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai have has has created and is creating is uh gonna be magnificent man 
it's magnificent is such a small word where it's, it's going to make the word magnificent seem as though I insulted, insulted what we're going to really be seeing. We're going to see colors that we've never seen before, man. I personally believe that, man. I believe that we're not even capable in this body to see the, the, the range of colors that we're going to see, man. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land and wasting no it's like wasting nor destruction within thy borders, but thou shalt call thy walls salvation and thy gates praise. Right. <laughs> I'm thinking about this movie uh called Interstellar, right? Uh Esau Edom uh, thought he was going out of space, man. It just was wild, man. This motherfucker had to freeze itself cryogenically. This is a bunch of like a bunch of weird bullshit, and then it ended up with him living on a spaceship where they were playing baseball. Man, you're not gonna bring baseball into the into the put it like this. The scripture says, "Yeah, how about Shreya Shai's appointed your bounds that you cannot pass? You have a certain date, time, a place to be. You're like the fucking rabbit and Cinderella. You got somewhere to be, nigga." You got a date with perdition. All right. You're not going to bring football into, first of all, the time that we're going into, and you're not going to bring, bring it into the places that we're going. The places that the elect of Israel are going, you can't go. You're going to be going into slavery. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting nor destruction within thy borders, but thou shalt call thy wall salvation and thy gates praise. Right. <laughs> Ain't no gates praise over here in this world, man. You you got Donald Trump talking about building a wall, man. The sun, sh thy, the sun shall no more go, no more... The sun shall be no more thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee. But, but there still will be a moon and a sun. Don't get that uh, uh, twisted. But Yahweh shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy power thy glory. Thy sun shall no more go down, neither shall thy moon withdraw itself. That means you're not... The, you know, the sun's not going to go down on our rulership ever again. All right. And and, and the sun's not going to go down on our wisdom ever again. OK. The sun's not going to go down on our wisdom ever again. For Yahweh shall be thy everlasting light and the days of thy morning shall be ended. All right. So, yeah, <laughs> you know, we, we're about to eat, man. Okay, we're about to eat, Akim. We, we, we're, we're about to eat. We're going to, matter of fact, let me get it, man. This is Luke 22 and 28. Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations. And I appoint unto you a kingdom as my father have appointed unto me that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. And, uh, and we're going to drink that wine. Yahweh I spoke about, you know, he said, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to drink it with you. New and my king. For all we know, Yahweh Shai got wine. I mean, I'm just dreaming, man. You know, and, I, and my faith allows me to dream, man. And I ain't gonna let nobody stop me from dreaming, man. For all we know, Yahweh Shai got got wine brewing. On, I'm not brewing, but um, fermenting on other planets, man. Probably for thousands of years, man, that we're going to be able to drink. 
And I want and I want Esau to see me drink it, man. You know? You know, these these fucking bitch ass Edomites on this side, they they got fucking bottles of liquor that's fucking eight hundred, five thousand dollar bottles, five hundred thousand dollar bottles, man. Man, that ain't gonna be shit compared with to what we gonna have in the kingdom, man. We gonna have different colored grapes uh, uh, from different planets, man. <sighs> Look, bro, I'm just imagining. I'm just dreaming. All right? But let me keep reading. Um, uh, right, this is uh, Luke 22 and 28. Ye are they which have continued my temptation and I appoint unto you a kingdom as my father hath appointed unto me that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel and then they, you know that's that's something to look forward to man you know because this place is passing away man the Lord is getting ready to do his great work his magnus open, magnum opus his great work on his place, man. And, uh, hey, I don't know exactly what, you know, happens to me, but I know that when it, <laughs> when the missiles drop, I'm not going to be here, man. Okay. <laughs> Either I'm going to be in the chariot or I'm going to be already in the spirit world if I continue in his work. I know that for a fact, because Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is not a man that he should lie. All right. So, yeah, there's a little lesson I wanted to do. Hope there was some edification within it. Um, yeah, Shalom, uh, Kwame Yasharal.